What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. In the previous episode, we made our way to Snow Point City, and we actually fought and beat Candace with relative ease um, on our squad. Uh, but in today's episode, we're going to do a bit of exploring with rock climbing, uh, grab some uh, items and things like that, and then we're going to head over to Veilstone City and go and mess around in Team Galactic's HQ. So if you guys are hyped for this today's episode, make sure you hit that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, do a quick team recap while we're all here and ready. We got our Mew named Shy here at level 46 holding the amulet coins. We can make a bit of extra money. Uh, Timid Nature with Ancient Power, Flamethrower, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. We got Trident, our mana feet at level 49 with Tail Glow, Surf, Acid Armor, and Ice Beam. Then we got Shahaha, our Skunk Tank at level 50 with Night Slash, Flamethrower, Toxic, and Venom Shock. Then we got Join, our Torterra at level 51 with Crunch, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, and Earthquake. Then we have Lisla, our Altaria at level 51 with God Guard, Dragon Pulse, Hurricane, and Moon Blast. And then last but not least, we got Frisco, our Luxray at level 51 with Thunder Wave, Spark, Bite, and Bolt Switch. And that is our team. And as you can see, I'm not in the same spot that I was where I ended off the last episode. I'm actually at the rock climbing spot because I didn't really want to... I didn't really want to devote much episode time getting here, even though it took me like a minute to get here. But I just wanted to get here and go fight all these trainers, go and grab the item that's over here, and then do the same thing in a couple of other areas that I need to go use Rock Climb in, and then just get into the Team Galactic business, you know? Just get in... Get in and get out, plain and simple. But, um, yeah. So, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of unsure, at least as of right now, what the plan is going to be for the final team. Um, it's a bit interesting because... Uh, I do have a video series in mind when it comes to, like, teams that I go through the game with initially. Uh, and it's not necessarily because I want to make one team stronger than the other. Like, those don't really, like, that doesn't really go into, like, into my head when it comes to making the teams and things like that. It's just kind of going based off of what I initially wanted to use and what I wasn't able to use. So it's kind of like, it's iffy, because half of the team, actually over half the team, I didn't I didn't plan on using. Um, the only mods on the team currently that I actually plan on using in this game are the Mana Feet and the Torterra. Uh, and I said this in a previous episode, but like, with the lack of fire type in this game, I wasn't able to, uh, I wasn't able, like, I had Houndoom, which I suppose now I probably could have added the Houndoom and had that been like, really, really nice, but I don't know. It's, it's neither here nor there. Um, but I wanted to use a Flareon, and so once I figure out where to get Eevee, uh, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go catch myself an Eevee, and I'm gonna go ahead and probably throw that thing on the team, and it's probably gonna bench the Skunk Tank, which, in a way, it kind of sucks, but it's not gonna be done until after game, and it's gonna be kind of the same thing with the Luxray. I'm not going to be able to get Rotom, and I was going to use Rotom Freeze, because initially I was going to put Togekiss on the team, but I didn't know where he got a Togepi until it was too late, and I really don't want to try and train up a Togepi at level 30, because it needs friendship. Like, I have the stone for it, right? 
but the friendship is the, the problem with it, so it's like, I don't really want to deal with that, so I'm just not going to. Um, but yeah, if I, if and when I get to Rotom, I'm gonna probably bench the Luxray, or I am gonna bench Luxray, because it's, it wasn't meant to be on the team in the first place, and it's kind of like iffy because it's like the first team to go through and beat the game. And it's like, I've always done that in the sense of like, this is the team I beat the champion with and done all this stuff. And obviously a majority of these teams came before I started doing Let's Plays. Um, and in fact, this is the only first team or initial team that I go through the game Brilliant Diamond with that um, is done in a Let's Play. Like, I thought about doing it with Sword and Shield, but it was kind of like, I was already doing, I think I was already doing Zeta at the time, so I didn't want to, like, overload myself too, too much, so I just didn't do it. And I ended up going through and just playing the game on my own time. And that's why I'm saying, like, the fact that I'm not done with this game yet kind of surprises me because it's like, if this was, like, Sword and Shield, I would have been done with the game. Uh, after, like, three days. And I probably could have done that, but these were released at such an odd timing that I wasn't really able to do that, so I didn't, which necessarily isn't, I, like, I don't view that as much of a problem because, I mean, I value things like social, social stuff, so I wouldn't be comfortable or comfortable with playing for that long period of time. Uh, but you guys just saw we did get the team for Ice Beam up here. That's what I wanted to do. Next thing we're going to go ahead and go do is we're actually going to go to Pistoria City. Now there's two areas, I believe, that you can access with Rock Climb. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and head this way. And we're going to go ahead and go see what the hell is up. Run through the grass, hopefully not run into anything. Good. We're gonna go ahead and rock climb here. And there should be a... Really? A floatzel? Oh, I haven't seen this animation. Remember the first time I met you? Level 22 floatzel? Okay, I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna spray another repel. I didn't think I would need to, being up here, but... It's the TM for war. Alright, that wasn't necessarily... <laughs> that wasn't that exciting, but... I guess it's okay. But so the other area, and this is probably gonna be more... common to everyone else, is all the stuff over here around the, uh, Grand Hotel Resort place? I don't know what the proper terminology is for it, so I'm just gonna call it the Grand Hotel. I almost, I almost called it the Grand Resort, but I think that's, uh, I think that's in Sun and Moon. But there is a hidden item up here with the, which is the rare candy. And then you guys saw there was a Pokeball that was over here. Um, I was gonna say, is it, I'm pretty sure, is this building not, this building's not accessible until you get rock climb. What, what's going on here? Coin toss app is why we ended up in this musty old and stinky suite. Phil, but they managed to get us in here. We're finally alone, two of us, if you believe that is. Uh, this is something we don't need anymore if you want to. All right, we got a coin toss app. Uh, can be used to make fair decisions. I guess, I mean, I do flip a coin sometimes and 
doing certain things, so... Who knows? Who knows? Uh, excuse me. But yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, because I'm not entirely done here, because there's a little bit more stuff to explore. Excuse me. Sir. Okay, I gotta go here. And I believe I can go behind. It's like right here. Yes. And then this one. And then no, I don't need to use another one right now. And go right there. And then here. And then this should give us a TM for Dream Eater, which might not be worth it to do all that extra stuff, but you know what? The Explorer me, I was gonna do it. One thing I am curious though is I wonder if the style shop has changed much. I'll check that out in a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and use rock climb and grab whatever this item is. Oh no, there's another area I can go actually. I just realized that now. I'm not quite done just yet. I'm not quite done. Um, so I'm gonna go to Salatian Town. And with this, I'm going to go ahead and hop on the bike. And then we're gonna go up. I can, all right, there we go. Go up this way and get into this route. Then I'm going to off the bike. Um, no, I'm not going to go to Mystery Gift, even though I believe there is another Mystery Gift I can receive right now. Um, I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to go ahead and run through this grass real quick, because, like I said, there's a couple of areas, uh, that... I guess open up? now with rock climb uh, and this is another little area that not many people remember so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this just as a bit of not showing off but just like oh no it is definitely showing off but we do have a dragon tamer here that we can fight uh, so if you don't know what this area is, this is where the Dragon's Master House is, so um, this is where you can teach your uh, Garchomp Draco Meteor if you choose to do so. I believe it's uh, available to the other pseudo dragons that are in the game, so I think Salamence would be able to... Um, I don't know about... What other pseudo dragons are there? I don't know about uh, Dragonite, because I don't know... I don't know if they're available just yet, but um, yeah, this is Grandma Wil Grandma Wilma's house. So I came out here and I found dragon tamers. Yes, and I don't have any sort of dragons. Oh wait, I can teach this to Altaria. We'll take that back. Also, I like how the fog's back, but it doesn't matter because we don't have to be in this crowd anymore. No, we gotta take me to the take me to Veilstone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check out the style shop again. I just want to see if anything's changed. No, this is the story, right? I doubt any of it's changed. Like I said, but. Who knows, maybe more... I don't think... 
I don't think it's changed. I think what I'll do is I'll change my style once I get into the after game. I think that's what I'll do. But, uh, would I like to use another one? No. I gotta talk to you, right? There, would you look at those antenna? I don't know what they do, but those are, those are some mighty impressive antenna. Hey, it's you. I bet you don't remember me, but I sure remember you. Because of you, they took my Clefairy away. My partner called it quits and went back to his hometown. I don't know anything about his, any storage key. Fair enough. Fun fact, um, if you don't know what his, uh, who his partner is, I believe that's the same grunt who is guarding the storage over this way once we beat Maylene's gym. But, um, his partner was the guy... I believe it was the... No. I'm getting mixed up. I was about to get, I was about to get that mixed up with the guy who... Uh, the Team Rocket guy in Unova. I was, I was about to get those two mixed up, sorry. Not a fun fact. I'm wrong. Ooh. This music was good in the original game, so I wonder... I wonder how much better it's gonna be in 3D. I mean, I like... I like Team Galactic's theme in this game. I don't... I don't know, though. I, I can't say if I prefer this one or the older one more. I wonder how Cyrus' theme is gonna be. That's gonna be the real... That's gonna be the real surprise there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and Psychic. I didn't know I was low on PP, but I guess I did do... Uh, I did do some battles earlier on in the episode, so... That does make sense to some extent. Alright, um, I'm gonna come over this way. Am I supposed to come over this way? I want to say yes, but I also don't know. Because the thing is, is that Platinum and Diamond and Pearls uh, HQs are very much different. There's quite the amount of difference in these, uh, in the Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. So, I gotta just kind of remember how things work. But yeah, I think I will I think I will work on um, putting Rotom and a Flareon on my team. Um, that being said, I don't know if that's going to necessarily guarantee that Mew stays on the team, though. Because I do think, at least for the sake of the endgame, I feel like a Lucario is going to do me better going through the Elite Four than probably a Luxray or a Stuntang, which I don't want to bash those mods because, like, they're not bad. But it just, it just sucks knowing that their whole, I guess, image, at least for me, on them is just that they aren't supposed to be here. I don't. I still don't know how to warp panel disconnect. It's really bright in here. A lot brighter than I would have imagined it, but hey, that's that's how it is. But yeah, I I think having a Lucario is probably going to be more beneficial in the end game than having. Luxray or Skunk Tank, and the thing is, right, is that even with that mindset, I might take the Luxray off. I know Intimidate's good, 
but I really think that the skunk tank has more benefits to us, at least when it comes to long game, or when I say long game, it's competitive. When we go and fight the champion... Ooh. Okay, TM for Scald, I messed with that. It's really good for competitive, I hope that that's a TM that we can find over and over again. Really hope that's a TM that we can find over and over again. Um, I don't think we need to go up the stairs, so I'm gonna go towards the stairs. But, uh, yeah, I think Luxray will probably get benched. And the, the, and the thing is, is that, again, don't hate Luxray. Like, I love Luxray a lot, but... I think if there's a mod that I want to keep on my team to go and beat the Elite Four, I want to keep Mew. I think Skunk Tank would be more beneficial than you might imagine. Um, so I think that's just the I think that's just the right choice of anything. But I don't know. I don't know because I don't want to upset anybody because someone might be like, "Oh, Luxray is my favorite mod," and things like that. And I know it doesn't matter. I shouldn't care about like what people like that thing, but like, I just don't want to, I don't, I just don't want to make it upsetting because it's like, you keep constantly switching out your team, Luxray's been there for a while, it's like, that's true, Luxray has been here for a while, like, it's been, it's been our fourth team member for the longest time, third, really, because we did bench, uh, the Cadabra, because... Dabra was up in the air because I thought about getting Gallade, I think it was, but I haven't, like, I just haven't encountered Ralts to the extent that I would like, so that's been a problem. Did I fight you? No. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go and fight this guy instead. So I guess the goal would, or a nice end off point would be getting done with the first half of the HQ and then next video can be me, um, next video can be me going through and being the rest of the HQ. I think that would be a good, good point to, uh, get things going. But yeah, I really need to hatch the egg for the Riolu. Uh, I'll try to get to it tomorrow. I'm gonna be kind of busy, so... I think I'll... I'll definitely get to it, I just don't know... Like, it should definitely not be difficult to evolve. Like, as long as I... As long as I get it to evolve before the Elite Four, and it's a good level going into the Elite Four, I don't really have an issue with it. But, I don't know. It's just tough to say. Because I, I really think a Steel-type would be helpful. Uh, I tried to settle for a Mawile, but don't get Mawile till post-game, which sucks. Um, Like I said, you don't get a, well, um, I was gonna go with the fairy type with the Togekiss, but to you didn't get Togepi until a lot later than I anticipated. Um, what else? Uh, Rotom, you don't get him until post-game. Uh, you don't get Eevee in this game until post-game. Like, my team is not anywhere near what I expected it to be. I will say, though, having the Altaria, um, as, the, like, our shiny, I, I, that's pretty cool. That's something that, no matter what happens with how, like, I might view my team or how I view this series, that will always be something that I'm gonna remember, uh, because I can't think of a time at all where I got a shiny, uh, super early on in 
the game's release. Like, it literally was the second day, I believe. I think it was the second day that the this game came out. I got a shiny Swablu. And here we are now, and it's just, it's, it's big chillin'. Cadabra, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flamethrower you. But I guess the nice thing to look at it in this sort of idea is like if I do go ahead and say I'm gonna bench the Luxray or Skunk Tank, like they still have status moves to where. Like, if I'm going and catching legendaries, I can just bring them along, and it won't be an issue in regards to, um, catching them. Because I have status move, and they're level 50, so it really won't be a problem that way. So, that, that'll be nice. That'll be a nice uh, thing for me to experience Go downstairs we get the TM for Dark Pulse? Sludge Bomb which that wouldn't be bad but I think I want to keep that just for the time being and now that we have the Galactic Key actually I'm gonna unlock this right but there is that room that is up the stairs this way that I want to check out. I want to check out the room that is up this way. So let's take this warp panel. Can you imagine? I feel like I said this before when we played, like, probably the Generations Master Mode, but can you imagine, like, a game... Not a game, necessarily. Can you imagine real life where, like, you have warp panels that just, like, teleport you into, like, a different part of, like, a warehouse or something like that? Dazzling Gleam. That's actually a nice TM to have. I know we can buy that TM from the department store, but that's still a good TM for us to have. And it's free, so, like, why not? Why not look at it that way? But, like, can you imagine transporting yourself throughout a warehouse or HQ with warp panels. Like, that would be... That would be some next-level shit. And to be honest, I definitely think not in our lifetime, but definitely in the next couple that humans are going to evolve to that extent where we're going to be able to have things like, yeah, we'll have flying cars and stuff like that, but I think we'll find the... somehow, some way, we'll find the ability to know how to teleport. Or create teleportation. That's what I think, anyways. I don't know how likely that is, because science... But like I said, evolution, uh, we would be smart enough to find out, uh, we'd be able to find out how to work that stuff. And I, I believe, I'm a, I'm a believer that that would happen at some point in time. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that. Is there anything here that they give? I feel like they don't give anything. You're too young for us. You can join when you're older. Darn. Uh, we take everything that we can be taken, we eliminate everything that is not needed. That's Team Galactic's policy. So that's why he... or that's why Cyrus wanted to create the new world. Right. It all makes sense now. That's why he was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna create a new world with all this other stuff that I want, but no one else wants. So, yeah, understandable. All right, I'm gonna psychic this gold bat. But again, um, I don't know. I feel like technology could get to that point, though. I'm honestly surprised that 
we haven't gotten to flying cars, but I guess when you look at things like... Uh, I think Tesla is a perfect example of this. Uh, they have cars that can go in autopilot, so it's kind of like planes. Um, that kind of says a lot, uh, that you can do that, so... That's pretty crazy. And on that note, we're gonna go ahead and end off the episode here, so if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit the like button down below, because it would be greatly appreciated. In the next episode, we should be able to wrap up the rest of the warehouse. I don't know how far into the Mount Cornet event we're going to get in, in, but just to say, we're probably going to be pretty deep in there in the next episode. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it would very much be appreciated. And uh, follow my socials, my Twitter, and my TikTok are linked in the description below. And I'm going to get the hell out of here. Have yourselves a great day. And deuces.